Hello everybody, welcome to another Zabbix video. This time I will talk about how to use an API to receive JSON data and actually how to use multiple Zabbix API methods to receive like different kind of JSONs and merge them together and then at the end uh, format that as a HTML uh, file. And uh, how it's beneficial, uh, it's beneficial in a way that uh, Zabbix dashboard does officially support to represent HTML data. So practically this kind of um, makes an illusion that you can design a widget as long as you are familiar with JSON and HTML, we can kind of mimic and, and create a widget. Let's have a look. And here in example, uh, if you did watch my previous video, I did address this uh, host availability widget, which I'm not a big fan because uh, it, prints dump it prints the numbers, but does not reveal what's behind the numbers. And my uh, biggest um, uh, like hurt my feelings is uh, this column when something is not available. Uh, I don't know what's not available. And we see like number five, and uh, some like free passive agents are uh, not available to SNMP devices. Uh, actually, I'm limiting this uh, tutorial. I'm not talking about active checks, only passive checks uh, as a like a as a proof of concept thing. And on the bottom, this is the stuff I'm talking about. Like we can use API to ask like what's not available and not even that like what is the problem? Like what's the error message? What's the IP address? And uh, the table at the bottom is uh, what kind of solution we can have. And it's it's a native dashboard. It's a metric. This table is a metric. It's an HTML document. And just because there is a widget which allows to create one, that's the trick. And even I have the link to like navigate here to the device and try to fix the issue while by, by reading the message. And th then maybe you can jump to device and uh, try to fix the issue. Uh, how this works? That was the main idea why I'm creating the idea. Uh, this video, uh, I should ex explain. And uh, let's go to the templates. Uh, there is a template. Uh, inside the template, uh, there is HTTP agent item, which is initially creating the first API call uh, to receive host interfaces. And this API method is uh, relevant to the passive checks. Uh, in Zabbix, we have four type of uh, passive devices, uh, agent, SNMP, Java, IPMI, and it will immediately receive the errors. Uh, but it's not enough uh, with the errors. We need to know like where device, where this interface belongs. Like it must belong to a host object. And now the magic happens here under the pre-processing step. When uh, we are doing some extra API calls, like at the item level, it's the first API call. And at the pre-processing level, this uh, step number three is actually kind of like going out to the API again and uh, asking for a host list, as asking for the proxy list. And I will show like diagram, like what happens like the first HTTP agent at the item level, it get, receives like a JSON. Then at the pre-processing level, like JavaScript pre-processing also is able to simulate like uh, to, to, to get the data very similar as webhooks is doing. It's, it's using the same like method. And uh, once we get the host list, then we use like this host ID as a mapping field and we, we merge together the content. And then also like maybe it's useful, like if host object belongs to a proxy, like which proxy object is having troubles the most. That's the reason why I'm also uh, receiving like a proxy. And then it, in the outcome, like it's so many fields, like each of these uh, API methods are um, receiving a lot of fields and some of them are even conflicting. Like we can have host name, we can have proxy name, like it's a na uh, one field is uh, conflicting. And then uh, inside the JavaScript, there is some manipulation to rename the, one of the fields to just to be able to merge together the data. And at the output, it's a JSON format. 
and um, yeah one extra function to because Zabbix can connect to the DNS or IP address and the passive checks can use only one based on your preference which one is used that is that's the one which the error is about and then one uh, JavaScript step which is like deleting all the f uh, fields and the last uh, this interesting JSON path it's like uh, just because we are still limited to 64 kilobytes, I should protect this HTML file. So if it's it, if it runs out of the size uh, size limitation, then it may be a corrupted HTML, and uh, the records is like how many records I want to actually save inside the JSON output. Uh, okay. And once the JSON is stored, then uh, the magic happens here in the dependent item. It is uh, having functions. Uh, one function is uh, like we can have um, like how to convert the JSON to an HTML. And I'm planning the video title to also include this message and uh, like how to automatically so so this function can be copy and paste you can take any json you have already copy this snippet to the dependent item uh, there is actually two functions uh, this group group by column uh, group by row and uh, it's it's offering two functions and then at the bottom you choose which one to use based on the style one will put the headers at the top uh, the other will put the headers at the left side uh, and this template is uh, simulating both styles just to demonstrate what will be the outcome. Okay, um, now for the beginners, I, I also want to like in, uh, explain uh, if without any prior knowledge how to use this solution. And uh, it all starts like we need an API key. Uh, an API key can be generated like since uh, 6.0. This version is 7.0, and this template also is applicable to 7.0 version only. Uh, but this idea can be used starting with 5.0 uh, if you know the appropriate uh, API calls and which which fields to merge. Uh, it's it's kind of it's possible to backport at least the idea, N not the same uh, code as as I have. Uh, so we need API token uh, here. Create the token. Uh, it will be like um, availability uh, and user. I have a dedicated user. Uh, in in your case, you can search like admin. Uh, some powerful user must be selected here. Uh, when the token will expire, uh, like select some date and then add. Okay. So now I have token here on screen. Copy to the clipboard. Close uh, data collection templates. And uh, uh, this time I will um, I will so I will delete this host uh, so to demonstrate the full scenario. Uh, so I have a template. You have the template. Uh, create host. Uh, I can call it like uh, show what's not available and uh, groups um, Linux servers and template like availability. Click. And um, actually, I want to install it in the uh, template level. Uh, add. So this is the object. Uh, let's go back to the templates. And the token is, sits in my clipboard. Uh, paste. So this is the the super mandatory step. With, with, without this, it will not work. Uh, so now I have a token. Visiting the host object, uh, I can now open the items. And uh, here it is executing every one day click select execute now and like 10 seconds later it's done now we can use uh, global search like show enter this is my host object visiting the dashboards like th th there is a dashboard which comes from the template click and voila like this just came from the api zabbix did perform those free api calls merged data together and here we have the list and the other view is here a vertical where the stuff is on the left panel so it's not the use case is not related to uh, the use like you can reuse those functions json to html you can reuse for your own needs and create a temp table uh, how to include this widget in some global dashboard because this just came from the template then uh, here we need to let's remove this guy uh, click delete and we would add 
completely new widget and okay let's select the field select item history item history and here columns and I would search like HTML I know like my item is uh, having an HTML uh, na name and uh, I can select here right away this one is uh, here we should manipulate we should call the widget title and show like um, show uh, what's not available and uh, uh, HTML so this button is must uh, add also show lines like I don't want to have like a lot of tables I want one metric one table and maybe this one as well like new values bottom uh, show column header off and that's that this, this should do everything let's try add and voila uh, I think I did uh, like show what's not available we, we, we can like we can move this guy somewhere else uh, it is top maybe this apply no why I'm uh, edit I guess it was ah, layout vertical I guess this one ah, the, um, vertical add and you, you see like now it's it's almost like um, it looks like a widget on first glance but uh, maybe like the design is a little bit different all right that's everything uh, here um, if you like this video uh, check the description there is a link to the template uh, template uh, only applicable to 7.0 the idea can be backported to the 5.0 um, and um, yeah thanks for watching goodbye